Both of us had careers, and in order for our children, we felt, to be raised for the Lord, one of us would need to stay home. When Jesus came to this earth, and he came riding in on a donkey into Jerusalem, announcing his kingdom, who was it that proclaimed him as the king? It was the children. It's saying what has been will be, just as the children proclaimed the coming king, so also the children in the last days will have that final message in their possession. start when they're really small. When our children were just babies, we would play them scripture song tapes, but we realize their minds are like sponges and they will soak up what comes their way. The parents who had success in raising spiritually strong young adults actually viewed it as their job. Not the church, not the pastor, not the church school. It was their job. If we can set aside a little bit of time every day for reading the Bible together, it will go a long way. All of these daily challenges of being a parent will finally come to this point where you see that the majesty of heaven is approved of your work. Not because you did everything perfectly, but because you walked with him. When you fell down, you got back up. Because you were willing to be different. Because you were willing to guard their hearts. Because you were willing to say, this is my number one job in life and I'm going to make sacrifices. Because you were willing to take the time to prepare family worships, to prepare Bible, Bible study with the children, to weave Jesus into their experience. You were willing to make all the sacrifices needed to disciple your children, moms and dads. Because permissive parents let their kids do pretty much what they want. They're not thinking about their kids' future. Parents who are too harsh, they are very demanding. They're thinking mostly of themselves and their own personal convenience, not the growth of their child. And so every Christian home should have rules. We should point out the way in unmistakable terms because if we don't, if we have homes of no discipline and raise children who have no order, discipline, obedience, and submission to authority, then what we're giving them is a petting viper to cherish and it'll bite them and everyone around and eternally lose their souls. So when, when you're dealing with them in their sin, you are teaching them more about God's grace and forgiveness and about the gospel than at any other time. What a wonderful opportunity. If you're beating your head against the wall over your child's behavior, we all struggle with our children's behaviors, okay? We all have moments of discouragement, even, even despair. Because I can press on with all of my strength and all of my strategies and all of my doing my best as a parent. But if I don't have the power of God, I got nothing.